Hey guys, uh, I'm Jaime, uh, welcome to Elector Labs. And okay, let's talk about hypes. Uh, first hype we have is Internet of Things. Internet of Things is everywhere and everybody is speaking about that. Second hype, uh, hype we have is uh, driverless cars. You know, all brands working in, uh, I mean, trying to put us in the passenger seat. Uh, third hype of the day would be wearables, like, you know, wearable electronics. is uh, people designing stuff so you can uh, put them on your clothes. Fancy. And another hype would be 3D pads. You know, uh, all companies are also trying uh, their own approaches on how to use the force. So Microchip uh, sent us a couple of them. Uh, this is actually a development kit. It's the Hillstar. And... Uh, so yeah, let's see what's inside, and may the force be with you. Okay, uh, we've seen we've seen certainly 3D pads uh, before. Uh, most probably you remember the 3D the 3D pad made by Outside Box uh, by uh, Jean Noël Lefebvre, and uh, which is actually amazing. It works really well. But uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, Microchip uh, provided us with uh, two development kits. Uh, also 3D pads, they are going their own way, um, own development uh, for one of the of their uh, chips. Uh, the chip is already two years old or something. It's a uh, MGC 3130. Uh, we'll um, look into it uh, later. Uh, so well, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's in this box. Uh, first, we got like the version for programmers, so to say. So not you know, it's not intended for. Um, electronic geeks <laughs> so it's only a 3d pad which looks pretty much like a looks pretty much like a trackpad and it works out of the box uh, what's funny is that uh, this is really really um, exclusive uh, stuff so we're lucky and it ha actually has the serial number 0007 so <laughs> and well we can uh, connect it uh, via USB and this is not really uh, not really worth it actually, you know, as you could probably see, it works, it's uh, in installing uh, the drivers already and it works pretty much like a, like a trackpad, standard trackpad, so we're not gonna explain that to go into it. So, uh, the interesting version we got is this one, it's, the, it's called Hillstar development, uh, the dev kit, development kit, and this is really interesting actually, it's uh, mainly because what we have here is like a, a four layer PCB uh, which consists on uh, six electrodes. Uh, first we have uh, on the back side, um, we have a, a transmitter uh, which is creating an electric field and we have then uh, five receiver electrodes, north, east, south, west and also a center electrode. So. These electrodes are creating a capacitor uh, uh, together with the, with the transmitter and what's doing the software is basically uh, measuring the, the disturbances, the changes on the capacitance on those uh, capacitors and based on that is calculating the position of our hand or an object lying in front of the, of the board. So we're going to see how it works. As you could see here uh, there's a pin header connector uh, I think it's seven pins, yeah? Yeah, the electrodes, and uh, exactly, it's like, uh, yeah, we have the six electrodes and ground. So, okay, how to connect this? Microchip provides two boards. Uh, first, uh, the board which goes directly uh, connected on, the, on, this, on this pad, on this uh, 3D pad, uh, it's like a breakout board. Uh, including the chip, the chip I mentioned uh, before, the MGC3130 and basically that chip is taking care of the conversion so it's like interpreting uh, the results and uh, providing, I mean, like providing uh, them via uh, I square C so if we want to connect this to, to a computer we need uh, another board which is also included in the kit and this board is basically uh, converting from I square C uh, to USB. So to say the data we're taking is uh, readable. So basically we connect it like this. Okay, there we are. 
Um, and now we just need a USB cable, for instance this one, and we connect the board in our laptop yeah. and using this USB port, for example, and okay, the board is already, we see uh, the, um, an LED there blinking. So what's, uh, let's wait until this thing is installed properly. What's uh, inside the box also? We got like these foam blocks, which are really like, I thought it was part of the package, but it's not. So don't throw them away. We would need this for calibration. Another uh, interesting thing is it includes like a large, uh, the larger uh, block um, is this one. Now it's covered, as you can see, with a copper foil, but the copper foil is actually uh, provided like uh, separately, as you could see in this image right here. And so you have to build it yourself. You have to grab this block in the copper foil. And after that, you have to solder a thin wire um, here. So for the calibrations, we can uh, hold it uh, like this and actually we are grounded, so we are like the connection to, to mass. Uh, so this is necessary. If not, you would actually have bad results uh, during the calibrations and basically the, the, the pad will not work properly. So, okay, let's uh, show how this works. So microchip uh, provides a whole uh, suite for this for testing purpose and calibration and to design our own system and it's called Aurea uh, suite, which is pretty complete, and here, as you can see, we can we can see we can test what the system is doing. So first of all, I'm gonna force calibration to be completely sure it's working, and and well, now we we can already see that it's pretty precise. It's detecting the position of my my finger, so it's able to recognize uh, gestures. Like for example, going to the right, going to the left, we go down, we go up. Uh, of course, the, um, we're close, uh, the proximity, we're close to the pad or not. And uh, also some gestures in the, uh, on, the, on the air, like turnings. Ah, there it is, yay. Yeah, different turnings. And the, it's also, I mean, it also works as, as a standard trackpad. So we can touch it, as you can see, it's, uh, Identifying even different fingers, I think up to up to three, which up to five. Yeah, exactly, up to five points. So interesting thing about this is just, of course, aside from the testing features like the full screen cube, which is you know like a fancy way of showing uh, like a test demo. We can also zoom in, zoom out, waving your uh, our hands on the on the air. Um, we can also control the cursor in our computer uh, with the pad. It's pretty precise, as you can see. It's not, not really useful, so it's nice as a demo, but, nah, but anything else. And, uh, okay, what's uh, here showing TX in kilohertz? The transmitter, I mean, the electric field is uh, created with a carrier frequency in the range of uh, 100 kilohertz. I knew that uh, before, so what I mean the first time I was uh, playing around with the system, what I did is um, I I was checking the signal uh, on the scope and it said 88 uh, kilohertz. So I said, oh, that that's fine, that's below 100 kilohertz. So then I went for a coffee and then when I was back, I saw that it was 103. And it was like what? And then. I w it was oh perhaps it was just me I don't know I was confused and then I left and then when I was back again I saw 44 so I I you know I suspe suspected that something the system was uh, jumping from one frequency to another and that's actually what happens is the um, the frequency hoping and the microchip itself is jumping from a frequency to another depending on the disturbances on the ambient noise. But we can also, via this control uh, here, we can change and choose the frequency we want and fix it to, for example, 88, which is not really necessary because I think it's a nice feature that the system is, is jumping, hoping. 
uh, automatically. So here we can see, now we're in the Colibri uh, suite, but we can see the signals as well. So this is just noise, and we can activate the auto zoom, which is not really recommended because noise appears massive, and it's not really. So once we, yeah, now we have a real, a real signal, we look like this. So you can see that, that the noise is actually on the range of, of zero. And here there's another tab called Setup. And Setup, it's, uh, this is quite interesting because we can flash uh, our custom uh, file on the, on the chip itself. And we can go for parameterization. Here we can change basically all the values and calibrate. Uh, and weight the electrodes again and linear linearize uh, the field so we can go for firmware selection and start parameterization sorry for my English guys again and yes we go now it's writing to flash the flash memory so it's basically updating the library and we're almost done it's rebooting now and now is when we are going to use uh, those blocks we showed before. Okay, now we're here. And here you could go to position tracking. And here we can we can set uh, the electro di dimensions if we decide to to design our own own board, own pad, own 3D pad. And here the electro weighting. And as you can see, it's uh, actually on this image, I don't know what you understand, guys, when you see this, but the first time I did it wrong. So, so now I know that this uh, is the, the yellow thing we see here is actually a 30 millimeters block. So that means we have to place the blocks like this, on the north electrode in this case, like this, and taking this grounded block like that. So we're basically uh, connected to ground, you know, I'm stepping <laughs> on the ground. So we can start measurement. And there we are. Then we have 10 seconds to remove the blocks. And we hit start measurement again, but without disturbing the sensing area. So it should be, we should stay away. And basically we repeat this operation uh, with every electrode. And the system will be will be taking all values and calibrating, which is really nice. Also, here's now we're gonna discard these measurements, and we can do the same actually to linearization of the electric field. Here, same similar procedure. Modify the sensing area. Yeah, now it's showing it's showing the, our sensing area with the proper dimensions there and set the, the distance, because perhaps we can um, set the system to work only in a certain area if we don't want, the, for, for example, if we're covering or putting this into a, into a case. So then it has filters, uh, gesture recognition to program our own gestures, approach, touch detection, the air wheel, which is that gesture, you know, the turning on the, on the space, and lots of stuff here. So it's nice, it's really, really complete, uh, easy to follow. You know, I suggest to give a look to the, to the manual, of course, data sheet. Um, that's pretty much it, yeah. And well, guys, I hope you could develop some fancy and nice uh, stuff with this. And, and again, uh, enjoy, please let us know if you, if you build something. We plan to make like a, like a big pad. It wouldn't be a pad, it's gonna be like placed on the, de on the desk itself. But we're gonna, we promise to experiment more with this and we'll let you know, of course. And thanks for watching. If you like and for the weekly updates, again, please subscribe and, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.